Greetings and salutations to you all once again. It is me, the Ravenous Spectre. And I want to do a little bit of a video here. Um, I didn't really plan on doing a video today, but I found something at Walmart that really just kind of made me go, Pah. and uh, yeah, it's actually some new controllers that have came out by, before I show them, they came out by uh, Power A. Um, I don't know if I ended up showing in a previous pickups video or something or not, but I ended up doing a video of a controller that I had gotten. It was a wired controller for the Nintendo Switch, and it was like a Zelda-esque kind of controller. I think I control. I, I showed it. I don't know. It's somewhere over there. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show these. And the ones that they had there, what, and, and they're decently priced, too, as a matter of fact. It was like $24.99 for the controllers. And from what I've used on the Link controller, which is from the same company, it works really well. Everything is really cool with it. Um, it's uh, The ones that they had there was Yoshi, Bowser, Mario, Splatoon, Donkey Kong, Link. Um, I believe that was probably all of them, but they look really awesome. They look really cool. The, the artwork and everything on them was really cool. I thought about getting Donkey Kong, but I was like, eh, you know, I, I didn't really lean towards that way. Plus, I was already buying two controllers as it was. But um, anyways, I, I already took the tape off of these and everything, so I didn't have to sit here and try to cut through them and waste time or whatever just to try to get to the meat of everything. So anyways, yeah, the first one here is Yoshi, right there, as you can see, in Super Mario World. Ain't it just precious? Ain't it just cute as it can possibly be? Yeah, there it is on the side, and also along the back, and also back up along the side again. So um, I'll go ahead and show the next one here. I'm going to pull them out and show them too, but of course, yeah, you got the, you got the wires here that connect to both of them into the switch. Uh, there's Bowser right there. Looking, that looks pretty badass, man. Uh, two of my favorite colors are black and red, so I was really happy when I ended up seeing this. It looks pretty badass. Um, but um, I'll go ahead and show the, the first one here, which is the Yoshi one that I was showing previously, <clears throat> which I probably should have already ended up pulling this out because just like I mentioned before about me cutting up the tape and all that, it's still kind of a little eh. But uh, yeah, there it is. That looks gorgeous. That looks really gorgeous. And look, look right inside of the controller itself of all the different designs and things from Super Mario World that you can see right there. I'm going to try. There we go. We got it up there pretty good. You can you can see them in there pretty well. Really really awesome stuff there. And they they have they have some some interesting weight to them and of course you got the clicky buttons, the clicky buttons and the you know the movement and, and everything like that. So there's there's some good there's some good clicking going on, meaning it doesn't feel like it's like superficial or fake or anything like that or cheap or, you know, yeah, you're buying them for cheap for like $24.99. But personally to me, that's what controllers should cost. It's fucking $60, $80, $70, $80 bullshit. You know, I mean, it's, why? Just why? The gaming industry makes millions of dollars every single year. The hell with that, man. I had done that once before when I got like a second PS4 controller like over a year ago or something like that, a year and a half ago, two years, something like that, I said never again, you know, and, and, I, and I didn't, I didn't, not at all, not, not going not gonna to be dealing with that because that's just, that's crazy talk, you know, you're touching crazy in the head, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it, but yeah, for, for the price and the way that these look, yeah, that's a, that's a price I'm willing to pay, I'm willing to pay close to $30 for a decent controller, than fucking sixty to eighty dollars for crying out friggin' loud. I don't give a shit if it's wireless or not. It's still too damn expensive. If it's more expensive than a freaking game, then we got a problem. Or even if the, even if it's the price of the game, you know, it's ridiculous. Um but anyways, yeah, here's the Bowser one. Right here. Right there. Let me try to get, let me see if there's any there isn't any little designs or anything that's in the back like it is on the Yoshi controller. But if you get a little bit of a closer look, you can see how the black and the red like merge and meld in with one another there looks really really good definitely yeah and of course that yeah this is red I couldn't really yeah it's red well I knew it was red but the way that it was looking in the camera looked like it was kind of like showing it as like an orangey kind of color but it's like a, a reddish color but yeah um has the same feel as well um definitely glad to get these for sure um but yeah, I just want to do a little bit of a uh, a little unboxing, if you will, of these two controllers that I didn't really plan on uh, knowing about today because when it was at Walmart, I didn't see what the prices were. I knew I ended up getting that previous Link controller, but I can't remember if it was like $30 or what it was, and I actually got it at GameStop, and this was like some months ago. But when I ended up looking and, and seeing them there, they must have just put, put them out at Walmart because they didn't have no price or anything on the display. 
there was no prices or anything like that. So uh, I was like, yeah, I was like, oh my God. And as soon as I see them, I was like, oh God, they look gorgeous. You know, <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So um, yeah, but when I found out that the price was $24.99, I'm gonna keep pushing that price on because that is what a freaking controller should cost. 60 to 80 dollars and kiss my ass anyways <laughs> sorry i'm not gonna go on a rant on that but i just i think it's ridiculous I'm like oh you can get so much battery power on this pro controller i don't care i'll just use a wire that's fine with me you know i guess that's one good thing about me not having kids or anything yeah, and them just running through and tearing stuff off the shelf or tearing the wires out of the con out of the console and out of the controller and all that stuff so i don't have to worry about that so if i got like a a wire stretched all the way across to, to Kingdom Cun and Timbuktu and all that other stuff, it's all well and good with me. Um, you know, at least I end up saving some money and actually get a decent uh, a decent running controller, if you will. But anyways, I will go ahead and I will end this like I always do. Later, taters.